Hello Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk about this. Oh, this, you know, here's the thing. The topic of this message is the, re the reality of follow the fool. Follow the fool. I mean, look, Jesus talked about the blind leading the blind. And all of them fall in the pit. And the problem is, you know, people, you know, are not respecting that reality. You know what I'm saying? People are not respecting the reality of the blind leading the blind. And here's the thing why these people that will follow the blind people will end up in a pit. is because of the reality of questioning. You know what I'm saying? Look, Jesus says, talks about, you know, that the eyes, uh, uh, well, he talks about the, the understanding in your, sorry, understanding in your heart that, you know, you, uh, you, you, you suppose, when you get understanding in your heart, you start questioning things, you know what I'm saying? You start questioning you're, as much understanding that is going to come in your heart is as much a questions you're going to question. Or you need to be more likely questioning things that you feel like you have to become an investigator. You have to investigate the reality to things. You know what I'm saying? You Because like I tell you, the law of, 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 of understanding means that you were placed in this, you came out of your mother's womb Therefore, you're entered a world that is unknown to you, be and because it's unknown, that means it's supposed to be. You have to ha develop a a right with inside your heart, hopefully, to seek out the, the truth, to seek to question, to find the truth, and you and you supposed to question everything. Shout outs to my boy Sherlock Holmes. Love that guy. I think he exists. But Sherlock Holmes, under, hit the way his dynamics and how he does things concerning his detective work, he knows how to question things, everything, fairly to come to a conclusion of finding the truth. You know what I'm saying? Of things that things happen for a purpose. They just, things that just don't happen and occur for nothing. But he considers the ideals of what's going on around him to make him create the proper, you know, as, proper, you know, as, assessment of the situation to find out the truth. Find out, in his case, find out the one who did it and where is it, you know, whatever you're looking for. But the thing is, um, here's the thing, you know, the thing is, when you're questioning things, you will find answers. But here's the thing about answers. You can't, there's no such thing of finding, like I tell people, there's no such thing as finding your own answer. You can't find your own answer when it comes to finding the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You can't find your own answer. You can't find an answer that, you know, just, you know, the, the, that, you know, resonate with you and you, you know, got peace it. You know, it's like what King Solomon says. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it talks about, you know, getting wisdom. But in all thy getting, get understanding. And getting understanding means to getting questioned. Questioning everything. Investigating every reality of the existence of everything. You know what I'm saying? And that's what God wants us to develop within us. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing is, the problem is, when you questioning things... You start seeing things like, oh, that's not functioning the way it really supposed to go. Oh, wait a minute. This is supposed to do this much, you know what I'm saying, and not that much. You know what I'm saying? It, you start questioning and you, everything start being enlightened to you. Of course, as uh, Paul talks about in uh, Ephesians um, 1, and 12, 1 and 18 about the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, you know, of the eyes of our understanding, that we need to understand the truth, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, hey, we have to understand, we have to question 
everything. But here's the thing. That the blind will lead the blind. You know what I'm saying? The blind will always, people will always be blindfold. And the number one blindfold of every person in the world, if they're going to be blind, is lust. You know? Lust is the greatest blindfold you can ever create because it's all about, and that's the trick about wanting your own answers. Wanting your own answers concerning what you want to believe. You can't do that. You can't be like, I want to believe that this is right. I want to believe that you can't want to believe that this is right. Because first, first of all, like I said, you were placed in this world. You didn't create this world. <laughs> no, everything doesn't operate according to you. You know what I'm saying? It operates according to a creator. Therefore, you're supposed to be questioning and that with that reality. You know, understanding that reality, you have to question. And you can't want your own answers, you know? And guess what? In this, you know, investigation, the good guy, you gonna might find out the good guy is the bad guy, and the bad guy is the good guy. You find out, you know, you know, certain things that, you know, was in darkness to you now, you're enlightened of that, you know, help you see things in reality, not fantasy, reality. You know what I'm saying? And like I, you know, taught about, you know, fantasy. Fantasy is all about what I want it to be. You know what I'm saying? It's what I want it to be. But reality is what it is. It is what it is going to be. You know what I'm saying? That people don't like to, you know, consider in how they look at things, you know? There's no, there's no because I like you, I love you so much that you're not a bad person. You know, everybody do that. Oh, they so wonderful. These people so wonderful. There's no way they can do bad things. You know, stuff like that. You know, it's like, it's not, truth is not about that. Truth is about, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? And people are, will come the victim when they try to bring what they desire, what they want, lust, and trying to find the truth. You can't find the truth in lust. You know what I mean? You can't because it's all about what you want to believe. And that's what really Satan's whole plan, Satan will not fulfill his whole plan of deceiving people without lust. He needs lust in your heart to keep you in deception. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that people need to understand. But understand what true love is because you know the world system got you know uh love lust and and love you know you know love love is the ideal of lust you know they tell telling i love you and it's all kind of lust and you know but anyway but the thing is you know true love that god has showed us that what you know it, it is what it is and ain't what it ain't it's right and it's wrong it's light and it's darkness it's this and it's that. That's what really, you know, the reality, what God presents to people. And, and the thing is, if that, you know, reality is not being presented, if they're trying to make you think that there's, you know, uh, uh, this one, this, this only thing, this is the only thing you need right for your life. And this is this lustful thing. This is what you need. You need lust. You need lust. You know what I'm saying? That's what, if they're trying to feed you that reality, say, oh, uh, no, nah, you don't need that love. You know, you need to be with ladies. You need to be with multiple, you know, have sex with multiple men. Men, men you need to have sex with multiple ladies. You know what I'm saying? And you, you need to be, you know, about you. You know what I'm saying? And forget about everybody else. That's the operating, like I tell people about cursing. That's the ideal of cursing. When they say the F word, they're saying it's the ideal of saying forget about you. You know what I'm saying? Forget about you existing. You know what I'm saying? You're nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's what really that word means. It's like you're nothing. Or they, or they're, or you, and they use the F word and, you know, as in having sex, means that, you know, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's meaningless. It, it doesn't have nothing to do with, you know, reality of life and nothing. You know what I'm saying? Forget about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, for, but the side effects are, you know, diseases and 
all kind of bad things, you know, happen, you know, and how you start treating people bad and try, you know, treating people negative, you know what I'm saying, all kind of catastrophic things. But, you know, the blind is going to lead the blind, you know what I'm saying? If you want to continue in lust and continue in this illusion of that, you know, you can do what the heck you want to do uh, whenever you want to do and life is going to operate according to you want to do, you know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden you find a reality. Oh, I lost this. Oh, I lost this person. I lost that person. No, life does not operate and function because of you living. When you die, life will continue on. I mean, that's the ideal of life. I mean, it's really, see, Satan's whole agenda of lust, like what John says, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. If Satan can keep the, or it's called the crown of pride, if Satan can keep the crown of pride on your head, he will have you flipping circles, doing all kind of crazy things, have you in a ditch. Yeah, he will always have you in a ditch, you know what I'm saying, with the blind, leading the blind. You know what I'm saying? You know, the thing is, it's a sad situation, a sad system that is going on concerning darkness. And that's what darkness is about, nonsense. You know what I'm saying? That you need to understand and you need to re respect this reality that, you know, you need to be with people that are seeing the truth, that is presenting the truth of the reality of life. They, the, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You know what I'm saying? Romans 6 and 23. That is the reality. That's the two ways. You know what I'm saying? You can live your life. And the thing is, you know, you need to be around people that's going to present that reality to you. Instead of just feeding the, oh, just be about the reason of, you know, you know, lust. The reason of lust and the reason of sin and reason of iniquity, a reason of darkness. You know what I'm saying? You can't be around one-dimensional people. You know what I'm saying? Be around dimensional people with two dimensions. The wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. You know what I'm saying? That's keeping it 100. That's showing both sides of the coin. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reality of what you're supposed to believe, that you have a choice to choose whether you want to engage in this, engage in that. But guess what? Fools are being created, you know, every day. You know, as much as you believe in the reality of darkness, more fools are being produced. And now it's just like fools are following fools and, you know, and foolishness is happening. And, you know, it's a funny thing about people that are in foolishness. They complain. <laughs> they complain that bad stuff is happening in foolish dark activity. What are you complaining about? This is what this has to offer. This is what it ha has to offer. Bad things, you know, hurt, pain, and disappointment. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, bad stuff concerning how you look at yourself. You don't value yourself. Of course you're not going to value yourself in darkness because you can't see yourself. You can't see what God created. This great, you know, person. The greatness that God created you to become and do great things. You can't see that. You can't see that you are made in the image and the likeness of God. That you are made for his service and made for his worship. You can't see in darkness. So, therefore, with that reality, you need to, you know, make your decision based upon that. You know what I'm saying? Not make your decisions based upon your desires because that's all satan needs you to do that you will mess up your own life you know what i'm saying and that you will continue following fools that are putting really becoming ministers like i tell you these secular rappers and singers and uh they're ministering darkness to you if they're they're ministering darkness of an earthly uh, lustful mindset to get you to lust after people and things, you know what I'm saying? And they they don't care that you go, that you continue in this and they know what this path brings. You know what I'm saying? You know what this path brings. But the thing is, you need to follow people that's all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, that's going to tell you about that and the, 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 the side effects of that and tell you about this, you know what I'm saying? The gift of God is eternal life. And the side effects is that. 
That is the truth. And so I hope and pray that you get this message right and correctly. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory, here forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.